The demand for customized clothing is growing as people seek out fashion that fits their style and size. And a local business is creating unique designs true to the owner's heritage. Tonight, our small business spotlight shines on Manso Wear. So that's 18, and the bicep says 14 and a half. Somehow, Nita Brown says this was her destiny, to be a clothing designer with her own shop on Park Avenue in Rochester, New York. Brown was born and raised in Ghana, and her business is a reflection of what she learned from her family while growing up there. I, growing up in Ghana, my mom had always had dressmakers, fabric makers, bringing a ton of fabric. So as a child, I grew up surrounded by dressmakers, fabric makers bringing it. So both my mom and my grandmother. Brown first came to Rochester in 2000 to work for Kodak when she realized she received lots of compliments about her clothes. Her passion for fashion, creativity, and a love of the Ghanaian prints and patterns led her to start Mansa Wear. And these are skirts. Where she designs unique, limited edition clothing from fabric she purchases in Ghana. Part of it was, you know, background, and part of it was purely being in Rochester and people like, we really love the way you dress. Did you ever envision that this is what you would be doing? No, never. This is my favorite. She began by doing trunk shows for her friends in 2010, then set up a rack during Fashion Week in 2012. In 2014, she opened her store. Brown only carries a small inventory because at Mansa Wear, it's about the experience. But these are our bins of fabric. Customers select a fabric and one of her exclusive designs, whether it's a shirt or a skirt, a dress or a jacket. So tell me how the business works. I come in as a customer, I'm looking for a shirt or some sort of an outfit. How does it work? So you come in um, as a customer, you can either, a lot of people are finding me online because of Google, or you come in here and you see all these beautiful fabrics. So I have about 50 different pieces of these two yards fabric that you can select from. So then I take your measurement, it's sent to Ghana. And in 28 days, the outfit comes back. Mansaware partners with a women-owned manufacturing facility in Ghana where they have about 300 employees putting together the custom orders. So I'm sending this to Ghana with his measurements and everything. And those fabrics, they are hand-selected by Brown from designs created by Ghanaian artists. So I go to Ghana once a year, and once I get there, I go to their retail shop, which I was showing you on site send some of my fabric that I'm interested in to my social media fans. People give me a lot of insight and feedback and then I spend maybe two or three days just at the warehouse selecting. She says the inspiration for her designs comes from these prints. One of the beauty of print is how exciting it is to design. So I'll give you uh, examples like this particular print. You see how the design shifts about four times. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a dress I did with it with that print. Yeah, but look how it is. Brown says all 900 of her customers have come from either social media or word of mouth. She's now ready to take the next step and is working on a marketing strategy. I'm actually working with U of R and RIT graduate students to do my market research. And then I want to then hire a professional and go through the market, you know, do my strategy. Brown says what won't change is the customer experience. Everybody wants to be unique. Everybody wants to experience something, right? So you cannot go to Ghana, but you can experience the whole entire journey. And if you know a small business we should highlight, email me at spotlight at whec.com.